Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import a sales receipt into QuickBooks Desktop using Z axis. So first of all, let's just go through what a sales receipt is in QuickBooks. So QuickBooks defines really uses sales receipts to record transactions that are paid for at the time of sale. So it might be at a point of sale or in a shop or in a retail location as opposed to what it will record as an invoice, which is a sale where payment is normally made at a later date. So let's have a look at one in QuickBooks. So I've, in QuickBooks, I've opened up the company file and I click on this button and let's scroll back to your sales receipt. So here's an example of a sales receipt if you're not already familiar with one. So you have a customer, you have some items that have been sold or some services that have been provided. So what I'm going to show you now is how you can take data that's held in an Excel in a text or an IIF file and how we can import that in batch into QuickBooks desktop using Z axis. So I've opened Z axis on my desktop and I select QuickBooks desktop and I'm going to make the connection. So once we know that Z-axis is successfully connected, we'll see down here the QuickBooks company file that we are connected to and the version of QuickBooks that we're connected to as well. So next, I click on the Import tab and I'm going to browse to the file of sales receipts that I'm going to upload into QuickBooks. So I've got some sample data here and these are sales receipts that are contained within a text file and I can click open. Access will open the file and will display the contents in the file in the grid below. So you'll notice that we have a header row which contains the column headers, what's for the data that's contained in each column within that file. And then underneath that, we've got repeating rows of sales receipts data that we want to bring into QuickBooks. So next, I'm going to create a mapping so on this screen, I select the transaction type as the sales receipt. Now, what you'll notice is this column on the left hand side contains all the fields that are on a QuickBooks sales receipt. And these are the fields that we're going to map. And in the right hand column, we have the columns that are in our import file. So now we go through a process of matching the QuickBooks fields to the columns in our import file. So we'll select name. The fields marked in yellow are mandatory fields. So those are the ones we're definitely going to need to successfully create a sales receipt in QuickBooks. Now this is a fairly simple map, um, but I'm just gonna now give the mapping a name so I can then reuse it on subsequent imports. So once we've applied the map and saved it, you'll now see that the columns have changed. These are now the QuickBooks fields, so we can see exactly what data will be imported into the fields within QuickBooks. There are more advanced features that you can use, such as order numbering, um, updating the address and contact details within QuickBooks of customers and so on. And we also have the ability to duplicate transactions overwrite, modify, skip if those transactions already in QuickBooks. So once we're ready, we click on import and Access will begin the process of validating the data, um, updating any missing customers and creating any missing items as well. And then we'll then go ahead and directly import the sales receipts into QuickBooks. So now there we can see that the two sales receipts, 1005 and 1006, have successfully been imported into QuickBooks. We have the option here, if we click on this link in the view, to go directly to that sales receipt and see what data we've imported. You also have the ability to um, undo those imports. We can roll them back if they're not exactly what you want, and then we can reattempt the import again. And when you're ready, just click close and that's completed the import process. So that's a very simple demonstration of how you can batch import sales receipts from text, Excel or IIF files using Z axis 
into QuickBooks Desktop.